Hi everyone, I'm here in approximateci.r, that stands for Approximate Confidence Interval, and this is a very short video walkthrough whose goal is to show you how to fit a linear regression model and compute confidence intervals for those coefficients without actually bootstrapping. All right, let's get started. I'll queue up a couple of old favorite libraries here, Tidyverse and Mosaic, and I'll read in this data set on Airbnb rentals in Santa Fe, New Mexico that we've analyzed in class a couple days ago. Uh, now, we, one of the things we did was to fit a multiple regression model for the price of an Airbnb rental versus a few obvious predictors. Distance to the plaza, you know, thinking that uh, places that are closer to the center of town are going to be more in demand, higher price, and then some size variables, how many bedrooms a place has, how many bathrooms it has. So we can fit that model. We can look at the coefficients and learn, for example, that for every additional mile of distance from the plaza, it looks like price goes down by about $16, $17, holding bedrooms and bathrooms constant. Uh, for every additional bathroom, the price of the rental goes up by about $100, holding other features constant, and so on. But you might want to ask the question, well, what kind of uncertainty do we have about these coefficients? This is a sample of Airbnb rentals. It's not the whole thing. Uh, so 30 plus or minus what? 100 plus or minus what? Well, what I'm going to show you here on line 12 is that you can get R to produce confidence intervals for these coefficients by taking this linear model object right here that you fit on line 8 and passing it directly to the confident function. And lo and behold, you get 95% confidence intervals. There's the 2.5% end, there's the 97.5% end for all four model terms, the intercept, the distance, bedrooms, and bathrooms. And you might say, Hey, wait a second, where did those come from? Did uh, R just run bootstrapping at light speed in the background without you realizing it in order to compute these? And the answer is no. I mean, it seems a little bit of a, of a mystery where these confidence intervals come from, and we'll discuss the answer to that question very soon. The short, somewhat unsatisfying answer is that these confidence intervals actually come from a mathematical approximation to what you might get if you actually did run bootstrapping. This mathematical approximation is, uh, in fact, what people did before there ever was bootstrapping, before computers were fast enough, they were doing this mathematical approximation 200 years ago. Uh, in the meantime, like before we actually think about what these confidence intervals mean and where they come from, you should feel free to treat these confidence intervals uh, as an approximation to bootstrapping, which is kind of, although not exactly, what they are. And certainly, if you're getting weird errors from running bootstrapping and trying to produce confidence intervals on a linear model, you should feel absolutely free to use these. This is a good use case of these confidence intervals, this approximation, when bootstrap gives you weird errors. What I want to show you here is that these uh, somewhat mysterious confidence intervals that were computed without bootstrapping actually do pretty well in terms of, of uh, the confidence intervals we get when we really do bootstrap. So here on line 23, I'm going to run bootstrapping. A thousand quick runs here. I should really be doing more, but I don't have the patience to do more than a thousand right here. So we're done. And now let's do uh, what we've been doing for weeks now, passing this bootstrap sampling distribution to the confident function and just rounding it to a couple of different digits. And let me compare these confidence intervals that we get from bootstrapping to the ones we get up here on line 12. And you notice they're pretty similar. Let's take the plaza coefficient. Up here, uh, we think this confidence interval is from about minus 31 to minus 3. Here we think it's from minus 34 to about 1.3. It's broadly similar right here. Okay, so this is a little bit wider down here and this is a little bit narrower. Uh, but in terms of the qualitative conclusions, yeah, we're pretty confident that's negative, and we think it's about minus 30-something, and the, the other endpoint is, you know, reasonably close to zero, uh, you know, a couple dollars either way. Bedrooms, well, here we think it's uh, an extra bedroom is uh, holding other variables constant, somewhere between 8 and $53, according to bootstrapping. Here we think it's somewhere between 6.3 and $54. Pretty close. All right, one more. The baths coefficient between 58 and 139. Well, again, a little narrower here between 70 and 130. But what I want to emphasize here is that the differences between, say, this confidence interval for bath and this confidence interval for bath are pretty small when you consider the width of the confidence interval itself, which is like 60 or $70 wide. So these approximations down here are not exactly what you get if you, if you bootstrap, but they are a pretty close approximation, and you should certainly feel free to use these 
especially if bootstrapping is giving you weird errors. Uh, another really common use case for these is when you're doing iterative model building and you just, you know, you're fitting six, seven, 10, 12 different models just to wrap your head around a problem and you get sick of waiting for bootstrapping to run every single time you fit that uh, model and want to get some confidence intervals, feel free to just do this quick and dirty approximation right here. Uh, don't bootstrap, just get the confident. And at the very end, like when you've got a model that you're, you feel uh, a little bit more uh, confident in, then try running bootstrapping to get the confidence intervals for that model. Okay, so there we have it. We'll talk more about the answer to where these confidence intervals come from later, but for now, it's a nice approximation that certainly runs a lot faster than bootstrapping.